Hello. This is Sweet June 2010. Um, it's a beautiful day out, so I decided to do a video on my porch. I <laughs> uh, hope everybody's doing okay. Um, it's right. Out, I want to talk about. Um, it's a lot of things going on um, in this country as far as racism. It seems like racism has gotten a lot worse, and um, I sometimes feel like we're back in the 1960s. It's like it's terrible. I mean, it's you know you got rioting and all this stuff that's going on. Um, police brutality is increasing and um, police shootings and all this stuff and um, now they have a campaign out um, during the protest they're talking about Black Lives Matter and um, I think it's a great um, even though I don't rally and I don't protest um, I think that it's a great um, theory it, it's a great it's a great uh, cause um, because um, the, our black people's lives, a lot, a lot of uh, I know a lot of uh, other people. I'll say other people say, "Well, all lives matter." Yes, all lives matter, especially you know in God's eyes, everybody's life is important. But the reason why people, some people don't understand why that's being said, and the reason why it's being said is because less value is placed on. African Americans' life. I, there's there's not as much value placed on our lives than it would be Caucasian. That's the reason why it's being said. It's since the beginning of the time, since black people were slaves, um, back and during slavery, you know, white people, black people were viewed as subhuman. You know, we wasn't even viewed as being human. You know, I, I was reading something, you know, doing a little research. Um, well, not really doing research, but I, I was reading something where they said that they used to ha um, have throw black, black babies, little black babies, they used to throw them out to the alligators as bait down in Florida. Yes, back in slavery. That that really happened. A true story. And I I just think that's horrible. I mean, how, I mean, I love babies. They're precious. To me, all babies. I mean, I could not even imagine that. Just I can't even wrap my mind around that. You know, I mean, I can't even wrap my mind around it. I can't even imagine that. And that's what they did. They gave they um, gave the alligators the little black babies as and they used used them as alligator bait. See, and a lot of people think that that stuff is not true. That stuff really happened. And the reason why they did stuff like that was because they didn't they didn't see us as being human they didn't see black people as being human they looked at us as being subhuman and they didn't view us as being human and um matter of fact i think more more value was placed on an animal's life than it was ours and i, I think that still holds true today um that's the reason why a lot of people don't understand. I read in the blogs and where people saying, "Well, all lives matter." Yes, <laughs> by all means, all lives do matter. All lives are important. But the reason why people are saying that is because people they don't place as much of a value on black people's lives, and we our, our lives is just as precious. Our children's lives are just as precious than the next child. It doesn't matter when a child comes up missing. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter what race that child is to determine whether you're going to look for that child or not. It shouldn't matter. That is a child. That's somebody's baby. That's missing, and that's all it is to it. So at the end of the day, we're all human beings. And it's, it's just um, it's, it's, um, inhuman to think otherwise. And so, when, when, a, when a black person, when a black man gets killed by the hands of the police, well, you got, you know, people. Well, he was uh, resisting arrest. That's not always not always the case. 
he's not there he's not always resisting arrest you know you know people other races of people other people don't believe it you know and and it's it's a reality um they just don't place much of value on, on on black people's lives and that's the reason why that's being said is because our life is just we're meaning what it means is our life is just as valuable as anybody else's our lives hold because you know because you know who said so Jehovah God said so in the Bible that's what see, see God is not partial you know there's scriptures in the Bible that talks about God not being partial see God is not partial you know Jehovah God doesn't see um, race or color when he looks at us he sees he, he looks at us through our heart and so he doesn't see that so God is not partial but unfortunately man is um, well that's pretty much not what I um, that's not the only thing I want to talk about I just kind of wanted to um, give you a little basis about what I'm getting ready to go into um, with that being said um, my 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 thought is black lives do matter and there's a lot of a lot of black people that are going around saying that and I, I think it's a good phrase, I think it's a good um thought and everything is a beautiful thought and I think that that's something that does need to be does very much need to be getting across to other races. However, um with all the violence and everything that's going on in the black community, you know, just over the um, just over the um, holiday weekend last last week, Chicago had 83 shootings, and I hate to say it, but it was probably mostly African Americans. And see, that's in Detroit has a high violence crime. You know, we having a huge problem in this country about gun violence. There's a huge problem in this country about gun violence, and a lot of there is a lot of gun violence going on in the black communities. I mean, um, I hate to say it, but it's a fact. You know, it's a lot of gun violence going on in the black community, and my theory to that is, um, I mean, um, the point that I'm trying to make is, is that yes, our lives do matter, and we do need to get that point across to other races of people but however we have to place within our communities within the black community we have to place a value on our own people's lives we have to say yes black lives does matter but they they also matter in our community we have to start not talking about it but being about it and 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 um we have to educate our young people. Our, our young people need to be educated, and they need to be taught about this uh, racist system. You know, the system is very racist. There's a lot of institutionalized racism, and the and the, the young people have to be need to be educated about our history and where all this started, and they need to be educated about the system and how the system is set up, and so they can realize that connect the dots and realize that your brother is not your enemy you don't need to be shooting him you don't need to be killing him he's not your enemy there's no reason for you to kill him okay so that let's start there first you know educating our young people and you know to wake them up and let them know that hey our you know um, this is this is how the system is set up you know this is our his, history this is how the system is set up I'm not going to go into all that because I don't have several hours to talk about all that. But um, and 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 need to, they need to realize that their brother, their brother, is not your brother is not your enemy, and that's something that they need to realize. And so that's what I'm saying is that um, Black Lives Matter, but we need to trans that transcend transcend that same theory and that same mentality onto the black community and we need to educate our young people and we need to um, let them know that all this violence and stuff is not acceptable you killing your brothers is not acceptable um, and we have to place a value on our own people's lives 
See, because this is, you know, this is the thing. Here's the thing. They don't feel like, they feel like this is what, they, what they're probably thinking. They're probably thinking that, well, they don't have any respect for their own people's lives. Look at all the violence that's going on in the African-American communities. They don't place a value on their own people's lives. So if they don't value their own people's lives, why should we? They figure if we don't place a value on our own people's lives, if we don't have any respect for our own people's lives, then the, they, they, they figure why should they have any respect? You don't have any respect for your own life. It's the same theory what they would say to, what you would say to a woman. You know, because, you know, unfortunately this country is sexist. That same thing applies to a male or a female, but it's always directed towards women, you know, because it's sexism. There, um, as a woman, um, growing up as a female, I was always told that, you know, you have to respect yourself. You know, you have to have some kind of respect for yourself because if you don't have any respect for yourself, nobody else is going to respect you. And, you know, and that, you know, like as far as uh, specifically, as far as a man, specifically, if, if you don't have any, if you don't show that you carry yourself like a lady and show that you have any some kind of respect for yourself, to show that you value yourself and know your worth and have any have value within yourself and have respect for yourself, then how can you expect for a man to respect you? A man is not going to respect you if you don't respect yourself. If he sees that you're not respecting yourself, then he he's not going to respect you. So with that being said, I was always told that as a female, you know, um, from the time I can remember, uh, you know. Um, and so with that being said, um, it's the same theory. It's the same theory. Um, with the, You know, they, they feel like, you know, um, how are we supposed to place a value on your people's lives when you don't even place a value on your own life? See, you have to value your own people's life before, you know, they, they have to see that we value our own people's lives, that we value our own communities, that we care about our people, that we love our people, that we care about our communities. Because if they don't see that, then they don't care. If we don't care, they don't care. And so that's, that's that the, the theory of black lives, it's, it's a beautiful thought, but it has to transcend to the black community. You know, it, it, it has the, that same belief and that same theory has to transcend to the black community. And we have to show, our people have to show that we value our, our own people's lives before we can expect for someone else to value our lives. And not justifying anything. Of course it's wrong what they're doing. But that's, that's the way it is. You know, it, it's wrong what they're doing. But but I think that's that's the mentality. I think that's the mentality, and that's the way they're thinking. Well, they don't have any respect for their own people's lives. How can they expect us to have any respect for their their lives? We're not going to respect their lives because they don't respect their lives. And so, um, with that being said, um, yeah, that's that's what you, uh, as African Americans, we have to start valuing our own people's lives. We have to respect our own people's lives. We need to educate our young people and um, and um, let them know that shooting your own brother is not acceptable. Okay, I might talk further about this. This is Sweet June 2010.